Hello beautiful people, this is Octavian from Infima Games and in this video, check this out. I wanted to show you the brand new update to the Realistic Assault Rifle template which is not yet out on the Fab Store, but some of you already have access to it. And I think it's really interesting to at least talk a little bit about it because we've skipped like 10 dev diaries that I really wanted to do, but hey, if I do them, we're gonna be here for like 20 million years until you guys get up to date. So here's what we got. In this one, I have a new walk animation, which David made, check this out. This does not mean that we won't have the old one. So if you really like that one, we're not losing it. It's still in there. You just, you know, have more variety. You also have a new running animation, which is also kind of sleek, you know, fitting for the new style. And both of those are just partly a push towards trying to make the template feel fresh because we haven't pushed out an update in a while. And what that means is that we really want the next update to be big and to feel new and to feel like it was worth waiting. We've also been changing a little bit of how certain things like the aiming lag feel. So if you check this out, we, we you can walk and you get a little bit of a different kind of vibe. Obviously, this is all things that you can change. Same for the same for the look lag here. So it feels a little bit different than it used to feel. Same for the aiming look lag. So all these things feel a little bit different. And that was kind of the idea. We've also been working really hard on trying to make the lower body here even better than it already was. Part of that push has been ensuring that we actually render it over other objects. And that might sound a little bit weird, but it actually works really, really well. And it gives you a bit of a special feel to it. We've noticed a lot of first person games tend to actually do this because otherwise things look a little disjointed if you're rendering the weapon in a separate layer and then the character in kind of a world layer. It just feels weird, you know? Another thing that I have for you and I know I'm going through them really quickly, but I mean, this is kind of a, I want to make this a really short and quick update. Another thing that I have for you is there's a new map update, which A, is not really visible right here, right? This is the old map. I mean, it looks really good, but it's not the new map. And the reason why I'm not showing it right now is because we want to make that a bit more of a surprise than what we have right now. So we'll, we'll show it, we'll show it. Just wait, guys, we'll show it. But just not yet, you know, not yet. Just give it a moment. Just wait a, a little moment. But but I wanted to at least at least kind of tease it a little bit. There's definitely an upgrade to the map coming. So look forward to that. Next up, we got new changes to the third person. Oh, and ignore the floating mag. By the way, this is an issue that I'll be fixing today. I know some of you that might have already tried the asset probably have seen the floating mag and Hey, you know, that's a small issue I'll be fixing, so it's all right. We're getting there. In third person, we have a new feel for the camera. So we've actually modified where we place the camera in third person, how it kind of smooths in, and just generally the placements and feel of it. We've we put a lot of effort into that. David has actually been working on getting the gameplay to feel really good in both modes for quite a bit. And obviously, this is all things you can tweak because this is an asset. So if we just search for third person settings, you're going to find this asset and right in here, you can modify everything. So just to be clear, you know, this isn't the tutorial, but this is a thing. So check it out if you have the in development version. And if you don't, by the way, all you need to do is actually hit me up on the other DMS and make sure you're verified already. If you're not on our discord server, just check out the get verified channel, not very complicated and then you'll get access to this. I'm not sure if I've shown this before, but we also have this new holster system, right? We're still working on the animations for equipping and unequipping. We've had some issues with those, but it, the actual weapons now stand on the character's back and they bounce around a little bit too when you're moving. There's a little bit of a clipping there, but you know, we're, we're gonna fix that. But, but they do move with the character. This isn't actually physics, by the way. This is a bit of a, a bit of trickery here we're doing. <laughs> we're just kind of smoothly following certain bones and delaying the actual movement. That that's what's happening. And so you get this you get this interesting effect if you use springs to to smooth that. It's very interesting. With those things said and kind of sped through, I have one more thing which, you know, some of you might care about quite a lot and it's that we're really working to improve the project's structure. And I've made these changes over the past few days, so they're not published yet on the branch 
on GitHub for this, but we now have a much cleaner structure, which hopefully will help you find things a lot easier. So as you can see, we have a realistic historical template, and then we clearly outline every asset type right here. And if you click on them, these do not go past a certain level of indentation. So the furthest, the furthest down you will see is this. And I'm still working on actually changing the names for the assets to make sure that the paths are not too long. Right now I have it on the C drive specifically, and that's why they're 160, the cooking file paths. But if you put them on your desktop, for example, they would become extremely long. And that's really not great, obviously, if you're trying to build a demo or anything like that. So we're working on that too. But just so you know, it should be a lot easier to navigate the asset moving forward. Hopefully that makes it easier to develop great games. Now, as a last thing, if you own the asset or, you know, if you have the development version or really if you're just watching this and you have something to say, tell us, please. We want to hear your feedback. I'm especially really, really interested in anything you might not understand about how the asset works. We're trying to make really good documentation for the next update, especially I've been making YouTube videos. So we're going to make a lot of those too. We're going to make a lot of guides. The idea is to have as much content as possible. And with that, I will leave a link, obviously, to a short blog post talking about all these things in the description in case you want to check that out. I'll also leave the demo and a lot of other goodies in the description. Check it out if you're really interested. And if you're only somewhat interested, also check it out, please. And uh, this was Octavian. I will see you in the next video, hopefully with the template even better than it already is. See you.